Okay, everybody, welcome to Dota. Today we have something different, something special to start the stream off. Let's see what's up. Uh, last night I saw a guy on Reddit that, that wanted his uh, game immortalized, you know? There he is, Boyro in the chat. He, mo he actually wanted this replay to be recorded and uploaded somewhere. He probably, does, he probably cannot do it by himself. So I jumped in, I, I wanted to help. And he said this was a uh, interesting, uh, very interesting game with great comeback. And I know, you guys know, I love good Dota. So let's watch this replay. Let's see if, if it was really that interesting and what happened. I'm gonna try my best to give my um, analysis here, my, my, my thoughts about the drafts, how the lanes went, how individual players performed, and uh, was it really that great? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I can already see a couple of very interesting heroes here. Let's start with the free camera. First of all, this was an uh, unranked match, as I'm being told. But the MMR of these players is like uh, all around the place. You see, there is Divine, there is Legend, there is Ancient, unranked. You know? We see 5 on 5, no smokes, no smokes. Maybe some early clash. Oh, this is already good, bro. Who is gonna feed the first blood? Oh, they got baited. Oh, it's actually so weird nobody died there. I gotta be honest here. I thought this was gonna be a slaughter. But... They all live. They all survived. I don't know what hero exactly he's playing, but he told me he's on a Radiant side, so we're gonna focus on that. We see the enemies, they are like some clan or something. So, they're probably good. And away we go. And they got a couple of uh, meta heroes, like Hoodwink is here, Life Stealer, Triple Gauntlet, DP mid and always annoying Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker with what was the last hero? Yeah, the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger offlane. And on the Radiant side we have Shadowfind. Classic mid matchup. Classic. Offlane is gonna be Tusk. Tusk King with Disruptor supporting him. Couple of wards here. And the safe lane for Radiant is gonna be Vraid King and Lich. So, let's see how many stuns we have. We have Bash, that's kind of a stun. We have Vraid King stun, we have Lich slow, we have Shackle. So this is gonna be a interesting lane. On the top lane, supports are battling out to to try and contest this these camps. Probably gonna be blocked camps later on. A lot of kill potential in this lane as well. A lot of magic burst damage, but Life Stealer he he just wants to farm. So this is not gonna be very interesting. Let's focus on mid lane for now. How the last hits are going. It's kind of okay so far. You don't see very often DP mid in this meta. But it, it's a strong hero if it, if it gets a proper fights and tempo. Lich is gonna have your mama. What is Spirit Breaker trying to do? Let's see. 
Let's see, Raid King, how is he farming? He's not a rushing Radiance, not naked Radiance. He's gonna go face Boots Armlet. Windrunner, Bracer. Pozdrav Nikola. Ah, svaka čast, brate. Dusky, dusky. Pulling the creep wave. Farming all that XP, bro. Look at this XP. If he managed to get a couple of last hits, it's also gonna be good. I always admire... Oh, that's him, actually. That's the boy Rugai. He, he actually wanted the replay analysis. So now we know. I wanted to say I always admired good Tusk players. Because that, that hero, it actually requires some brain power. Boyru is also the same rank as I am, so... It's good to see he's not afraid to play Tusk, especially in offlane. He's going a solid build. Early Bracer, couple of Iron Branches, Tango. Killing blade, but he gets hoodwinked. Oh, that's a good counter gank. No rage, no rage to dodge the glimpse, but he survives anyway. Disruptor is helping, rushing uh, probably arcane boots. First blood, we missed the first blood. I mean, that's not a big surprise. Oh, and now we missed the second kill? Come on, man. He probably got ice sharded or something. This, this is actually a good kill. Because Lifestealer missed all of this XP here. See, he only got XP from one creep, two creeps. So that's a that's a good nasty kill. A slow burn. Only three kills in five minutes. I, I've seen like ten kills in one minute. <laughs> so this is good. This this is a proper Dota right here. Warded mid. Is he gonna push this with the catapult? Maybe? Oh god. Oh, he got charged. He got charged. That's a spirit breaker effect for you, man. I hate this hero in the current meta. Uh, he was annoying even more earlier be before he got nerfed. But still, it's just so nasty. Look at this play now. He's probably gonna rush him, right? He's gonna charge and he's gonna get bashed. Look at this. Just nothing he can do. See? So stupid hero. Thankfully, he did not get that Observer Ward. Oh, they are on a receiving end, bro. 6-1. 2k net worth. The only one who is not feeded yet is Dusk, I think. Yeah. My guy Boyru. He is the only one. And there we go. Trapped. Trapped inside shards. Get glimpsed, bro. Kill that nasty squirrel. I would say this is their strongest lane so far. He doesn't have a lot of last hits, but he is like so strong with this build. Treads, Bracer. Choosing not to upgrade into Magic Wand, I don't know why. But as offlaner, sometimes you should do it. Uh, he's doing the, the smart thing. 
putting the bracer in while using the lotus orb the lotus flower actually so you get the max regen okay disruptor okay nothing new here lich feeds disruptor could have done another thing uh, when you play this hero you can camp here especially when you kill somebody so when you see him tipping to the tower you can just glimpse him back that's some nasty play you can do okay task tipped gank the mid laner successfully yeah i would say he he is definitely the guy that's holding this team together now in the early game and he already has 1k gold. So let's see what item build he goes. After treads. Okay, Disruptor is kind of dead on my screen. Unless he gets saved somehow. And he gets saved. Tag team. Three points. So he wants to fight. This is a fighter guy. Now the lanes are heating up. Lich came. Lich wants to contribute with some damage. Some spell casting here. Gets knocked out in the air. Is he gonna run away? I don't think he can. Oh, but he gets hoodwinked again. Glimpse, no no range. Three points in Thunderstrike. Man, if you're gonna play like this, you should always max uh, Glimpse. With three points in Glimpse, you definitely catch that Lifestealer. Yeah, I get hoodwinked. So annoying. I know I'm a hoodwink player, bro. I know how it is. Especially later on when you build uh, Glepnir. So the lanes uh, have evolved. What do we have? We have a tri lane here now. Because they asserted dominance in this, in this lane. So they want to kill. Is it going to be Blink Tusk? Or maybe it's going to be Aghanim uh, Scepter Rush. Lifestealer. He has nothing except boots. Oh, there we go. The squirrel from hell getting ganked, but he's getting saved with the glimpse. Unfortunately, now Lifestealer trying to do something. What is happening? I don't understand. They, they changed the teams? Like, what is this? All right, Spirit Breaker is doing a lot of um, healing there. For a moment, it looked like Hoodwink played for the Radiant side. How far he was diving. Okay, let's see. Shadow Fiend getting Spirit Breakered. His spirit was break. Was broken. Wind Ranger is having a free game. Like, look at this no boots build, double bracer into Maelstorm. Like, what can you do? And look at this ward. Disgusting, disgusting ward not being dewarded. So, it's so easy for him to kill. Something to take notes for future games. It's always worth it for your support to place a sentry here. So it covers this area. And uh, it's much easier for your carry to play the game when he doesn't have Observer Ward here. That's a small tip. Okay, DP using Ultimate for the first time. That we are aware of. Gets a couple of kills on supports, but Tusk. Tusk survives again. But little does he know. He is under vision. 
Oh, tried the snowball shard combo. It did not work. Messed up with the power thread switch. If you put the power threads on strength there, maybe you survive. Maybe. Oh, oh. Oh, this feels so bad, man. Look at this. Oh. Oh, they are getting cleaned up. Oh. Man, I can only imagine how you guys felt in this uh, situation here. It's nasty to get owned like this behind your tower. But Tusk, you got killed because of this ward here, bro. Trust me. Because he had unobstructed vision, so you cannot juke out. He can see you behind your tower. Okay, things are slowing down a bit, waiting for the next timing. Let's see, Shadowfin with the double damage. He really wants that tower, but little does he know, enemies are smoked. It doesn't even matter, he gets the tower. They want to kill DP, let's see if Disruptor maxed out Glimpse, no. Level 2 Glimpse, kind of useless. See, he has three points in Thunderstrike, doesn't even use them. But if he had three points in Glimpse... Oh, Tusk died. That's his first death. No, second one. Yeah, just... He started feeding. Oh! Godlike Windrunner. This is a monster, bro. Monster Windrunner. Power Treads, Dragonlance, Maelstorm, level 12, doesn't get any talents. But, he's diving behind the towers, and he is gonna pay with his life. And look at that XP spread on four heroes. Gets tipped. But look at this, he is the only one that is not part of this uh, guild or whatever. So, yeah. He made a mistake there, but maybe Spirit Breaker could have charged to help him out. And there we go, Spirit Breaker charging in! He wants to destroy them! Oh, clutch! Clutch Disruptor ulti, but the shards actually saved DP. I don't know. A symphony of fails <laughs> so far. Not the symphony of skill. But maybe that will change. Let's see the items. Arcane boots. Tranquil boots. Going for the four staff. Couple of wards here. Ready to be placed. Spirit breaker. Going for the shard. Alright, let's see the Hoodwink. Oh, yeah, of course, he's going Maelstorm. Lifestealer, after his armlet. Haven't done much. He wanted to infest here. They can also do a specific uh, combo, special combo. Infest into Spirit Breaker charge. And it's just so nasty to play against that. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity here for some counterplay. Let's see if Tusk survives this. Lich ulti bounce, infinite bounces, look at this, unbelievable bait, and Tusk got all the XP and money for this, just by hiding in these trees, blink dagger into point booster, as I thought, damn that was sweet bro, that was so sweet, and it's just 16 minutes, they're making a small comeback, Yeah, you know the drill, let's see what's happening here. Nothing. Alright, let's see what Tusk does. We can switch a bit to a player perspective. Let's see how he plays. It's his replay after all. So he has awareness of his teammates. He knows. He knows the jig is up top, but he really wants this DP. 
If only somebody would help him. And it's gonna get much more uh, interesting when he gets Aghanim Scepter. Because he will get the kick option. And it's always uh, interesting to see that. Especially if Tusk player knows what he's doing. Alright, I hear the shackle shot. But he gets silenced. Oh my god, another Lich ulti. The bounces were not that lucky. It was a good blink out. Oh, the blade mail return damage. Cannot believe he did not cancel that auto attacks. The ultimate. Oh, it is time. Oh, the life stealer was inside. I mean, that's actually a good combo if uh, Shadowfin uses his ulti and he uses his shards. The enemy gets stuck, you know. He cannot go further. So they can burst him out. Alright, Aghanim's Scepter. It's gonna be in like 20 minutes or something. I like good active offlaner like he's doing. Like, I hate offlaners that are just passive, staying in lane or just losing the lane going into jungle this is so nice to see playing with his team casting spells together Raid King is farming away now we get the four man smoke mid towers get who are they gonna find top towers get they can see down. DP because of that high ground Dyer's ward Mm -hmm. They have seen the Windrunner. Damn, he melted. What was that damage? But he wants more. I know it. He wants to find something else. Ulti not even needed here. Support Spirit Breaker goes down. Twenty minutes. The game is kind of equal. Now we are waiting for the next set of items. So this is gonna be a passive farm for a bit. Red King not even going for Radiance. That was smart actually. Going for blade mail against Windrunner, against Hoodwink. That's good. Good choice. Kill participation. I mean, you you got five, two, and eight. Very active player. I already said, I, I like your playstyle. But now the mid game started, you know? Are they gonna contest the XP runes? This one not taken yet. He's just pushing it to the limits. And he has been rewarded with his Aghanim Scepter now. Let's see how he uses it for the first time. I wanna see something... Uh, Something smart. You know, a casual Blightstone could have helped you here for more damage and uh, easier last hits. Just a casual Blightstone. 300 gold. Guess what's happening to die at the bottom tower. Oh, look at this! He never saw it coming! That was a Aghanim Scepter Blink Reveal. The Combo Breaker. Up their 
trading towers, that's always good. Immediately TP is out to defend. Aware of the XP room, taking it. But he is too far away for any play now, bro. Cannot do the any anything. Cannot reach. Shadowfiend running with the uh, dust on himself. So they, they are aware he's chasing them, even though he's invis. But some team fight is shaping up. This is gonna be a huge team fight soon. Unless they pussy out. Always a good thing to invade the enemy jungle, take all their farm, their resources, their farming patterns. And if you manage to win a fight here, oh, there we go. The squirrel from hell has been dealt with. Very annoying hero. If you manage to burst him in, at the start of the fight, it's everything gets so much easier for you. Five man smoke just to kill a position five hoodwink. Kind of not worth it, but at least he's not farming anymore. Lich doing the warding job, has a four staff already. What's the next item here? Maybe Desolator. Another four staff on Disruptor. Going for the Ether Lens. Finally maxed out Glimpse, so now he can catch almost anybody. Shadowfiend also playing very active here. Giving vision. Oh, get saved by the shards. Okay, go and feed, my sisters. Are they gonna feed? Save your body mentality. You see, this was type of situation where you should have disengaged. Lich got killed here and from that point it was all over for you. You cannot win the fight anymore. And you should have just ran away. Wh whoever can save himself from that point on should save himself. There is no need to like Shadowfin was already deep and you you guys kind of messed out the combo here. As soon as you missed your shards, you should have just blinked, maybe even here on the high ground and TP out. If you try to play, you cannot win because they have a man advantage. Even though uh, Lich dewarded here, so they had no vision, still they can chase you. They have a lot of chase potential. Like the bushwhack, the slow, the silence, the shackle shot, the charge. You gotta be aware of that as well. Because sometimes you think you can juke them out, but you're actually uh, being charged. So all of the enemies, they have vision of you. So it, it doesn't actually matter if, you, if you're juking correctly, making some crazy plays, even being invis. They can still see you. So, yeah, that, that was a mistake, kind of deep dive. They, they got the ward here, so it was not for nothing. But they, they fed. Raid King played it correctly. He bailed out first. Even though he can die twice, he was the first one to retreat. Let's see the items. Spirit Breaker stacking up the healing lotuses. Going for the lotus orb. He's a lotus lover. Let's see the life stealer. Life stealer already four charges on his desolator. No radiance. It's kind of interesting to see Wraith King and Life Stealer. But none of them opted for the Radiance build. And this is always the scary thing about DP when she uses uh, ulti. So you know they're gonna be committed to the push. Radiant. 
25 minutes in, it's the night time now, everybody gets bonus movement speed, so things are gonna get faster. Oh, are they gonna take the outpost? Yeah, the Hoodwink is taking it. Maybe the rush? This is a perfect time to get the rush. And they have the damage, they can do it. But will they? Or they will get caught. The Tormentor almost killed Lich and Disruptor, but they got it. When you play like a team, as a 5 man, what's also good is to like organ get organized and get the enemy Tormentor, if you can, first. And then you go back and take your own. That's always a good thing to do. Just smoke his five and take it. Okay, I hear charge. It just charge for creeps. All right, let's see a little bit more of uh, player perspective. Five man smoke, love it. A lot of uh, five man smokes this game. Task as offlaner leading the charge. He knows something is up over here in the jungle. Oh, and they found it. They found the squirrel. Oh, he must be so mad, bro. He got caught so many times like that. He, he gets mentally destroyed. Even though he tanked the gank like two or three times already, like a five-man gank. It's not pleasant <laughs> when you get destroyed like that. But that's, that's actually his role, you know. It's better for Hoodwing position five to take uh, a five-man smoke like that than for them to kill Lifestealer or Windrunner. So it's kind of wasted five-man smoke, but at least it's not for nothing. But Hoodwing definitely not the hero you want to find Thank you. when you five men smoke. Okay, going for the Octarine core next. I was wondering what's gonna be his next item. Gets uh, a little bit tankier. Can cast more spells. Alright, maybe they will do the Tormentor, just as I said, they are five men, they can easily take it. Raid King wants it. Come on, do it, do it guys, that's a correct play to do. Nice. That's my team right there, bro, that's how you play. And now both of their supports, they get the free shards. I love that play, that, that's, that was probably the best play of this replay so far. That they got the, the second Tormentor immediately. That's so good. Could have taken the XP rune as well if they stuck around for a bit. But maybe that was too risky. Okay, let's see what's Raid King doing. Oh, somebody gets caught here. Fortunately, nothing happens. Oh, yeah. Red King chooses not to participate in this. He says, my team got it. They got this. Mm. 
Man, you're you're actually killing them with this with this Agonim Scepter. They are probably not happy. Are you you're probably doing the shift Q, right? Nice. Octarine Core is coming up. The Skeletors are taking the tower. Oh, you're using the quick cast. I mean, it takes a, 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 a skill to master this combo. Especially if you want them to land in a specific area. Oh, tier uh, 3 token is here. Is he gonna use the BKB for this? Chooses not to use the BKB. This is where you... This is where you... Blink out and you run away. You have nothing. Oh, that was actually smart play, bro. That was actually smart. I would never thought of this. Kick the neutral creep and then you can snowball on him out of the team fight. That was so good. Oh, get bashed to hell. Just run away, bro. Save your body syndrome is never a good idea. Trust me. Sometimes you cannot save them. Just save yourself. You play that correctly. I, I love that play. A couple of very good plays we have seen. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. I see you're not buying item as well. So you're probably maybe saving for buyback. Which is also a correct play. Oh, too scared. He was too scared to keep charging. Let's see how the buyback status is. Lifesteal other has it. Task, DP, Spirit Breaker. None of your teammates has a buyback. So that's kind of bad. Offlaner Windrunner is actually leading the network chart. Oh, look at this farm, bro. Are you gonna ulti that? Ah. Five K gold. You have. Almost 4k gold that you can spend and have a buyback, so you can definitely tank up a bit. Yeah. Oh, he actually buys straight up full Octarine core. And now 1.2k gold needed for buyback. But you get 25% cooldown reduction, boost in health and mana, and a mana regen. All right. Somebody gets caught, and that's a spirit breaker. Your carry rate king is zero seven, bro. Like, what is he doing? He's a utility. Utility hero with Aghanim scepter. So, okay, this this team fights. They're just gonna get nastier, bro. It's thirty five minutes almost. They want to do the rush, the first rush of the game. It only, it only comes with Aegis. So let's see, they have plenty of damage. They can do it quick. But who will take it? Okay, Lich is staying out of the position here.
Alright, Shadowfin got it. Shadowfin got it. But it was not for free, you lost another tower. That was a good glimpse. Oh, maybe save. No. He tanked the gank again. It was not smoke gank, but... Four seven. He's he's like throwing his body to save uh, his team, so they can uh, retreat safely. But the push is coming now. This is a power spike of the radiance. Task gets shackled. Oh, I see you carry dust. That's always good. Probably Windrunner already has uh, Aghanim, yeah, so it gets invis every time she uses the Windrun. It's always a smart idea to carry dust. Let's see how many. Lich has uh, three sentries, Disruptor no wards. But this is the first proper teamfight. First proper team fight that your team lost. I don't know why would you fight there, bro, but sometimes you cannot control it. You just dive in. You have no vision there. You have no tower. But you have ages. I have ages, guys. Let's go. Let's dive. Let's kill them all. And then you get team wiped. And they're just knocking on your tier 4s. Tier 3. But it's gonna be tier 4 soon. Let's see the lifestealer. Lifestealer got his BKB basher. And they got the tower. Are they actually gonna go for this? They can. That was a good glimpse. Oh my god, that was a good Lich ulti. Disruptor doesn't have Aghanim, so Lifestealer can activate his BKB. Oh, but he gets kicked into the tier fours. He never saw it coming. He gets punched again and then he feeds. Oh shit, he got worked on, bro. He probably was not aware that you can kick him through BKB, right? Even though it's a magical uh, damage type, it pierces the, the debuff of the magic immunity. So, it definitely looked like it. He was like, oh, I'm just gonna BKB and I'm gonna run at you, you cannot do anything. But then he gets kicked into the tier 4s. And look at this sweet gold. The sweet farm. What's the next build? Oh, probably the Wind Waker. That's smart. Also the, the Ogre Seal Totem. One of the best tier 3 items. Love it. Love your choices. Okay, let's see the Shadowfin. The Shadowfin choosing not to get the BKB. He's just gonna go straight up damage. Oh, the Hoodwink escaped. And he's gonna wait. But nothing happens. Oh, he... He found out. Oh my god, the Lich ulti is doing more damage to his team. You gotta be careful. A gift from the 
if you're gonna cast your ulti on the Lotus Orb, bro. Wait, what? That was some next level save. 40 minutes. The dire team leads in kills in networks, but somehow their execution is is not clean. And it's gonna even get more messier when they try to push the high ground because they're ju they just don't expect the blink kick from Tusk. And maybe you get the shard now, Ice Shards upgrade. No, the Vraid King gets the shard upgrade. Oh, he also went for the Skull Basher? Like, what is this build on Vraid King, man? That's some old school build. No attack speed, just one shot. Yeah, it's gonna be a Wind Waker. I knew it. Alright, let's go... free. Let's be free. What's happening here? Everybody is farming DP. She has Shiva and Kayan Sanj. Going for the BQB. Almost has it. Vanguard in backpack, life stealer, going for that abyssal blade, wind ranger, Aghanim bike, going for the Lincoln sphere, smart, hoodwink, blink hoodwink, come on man, blink crystallis, force staff, maelstorm, just get all the items, and the daedalus on top of it, oh that's a good shackle shot bro. Perfect snowball save, unbelievable saves by Tusk. But another shackle shot. That is so messed up. Oh, Tusk is trying to do something. Even while dead, but cannot do. Time for the buybacks. Oh, is this a mega troll, bro? Oh, it definitely looks like it. There is no way you're getting away from this. Oh my god, what a blink! That was... Unbelievable blink! The satanic shadow fin just hit him up, bro! What a play! What a play! He actually survived that! Quick fingers you have, bro! What a quick fingers you have on the tusk! Damn, that, that's actually the reason they get team wiped. That blink dodge. Unbelievable. But now you gotta be careful. Now you know you don't have a buyback. So how are you gonna play? Rosh is about to respawn, but maybe it will be on dire side. Vanguard in backpack. 
Lifestealer has his Abyssal Blade completed. And he has a shard as well. Let's go, four man smoke. Somebody's missing here. No, five man smoke. They're all here. They're all here, and who are they gonna find? Who are they gonna find? Spirit Breaker. He gets his own snowball by the Lotus Orb. So annoying with this Lotus Orb. But so far we have seen multiple 5-man smokes and every single time uh, their support tanks the 5-man smoke. They cannot see the Hoodwing here. Wow, what a sneaky scroll. But, in the meantime, racks are gone. Disruptor maybe has Aghanim? No, he doesn't. So this ult is for nothing. They started chipping away. Yeah, the Rosh has respawned. But who is gonna take it? Are they even gonna try to take it? I think Shadowfind wants it. Scotty, Satanic, level 26. That's a, a lot of potential damage. I got him Shard as well. Yeah, he's going for it. He wants it. Yeah, playing it correctly here. Let's see if anybody helps. He's leading the chart in the network now. Yeah, his team is coming. It's gonna be a quick rush if, if everybody comes. Actually, they go the opposite way. Oh, they found him. He's dead. He must be dead. Gets. Chained stunned. Doesn't even get the chance to use the BKB. Oh, the kickback. They threw. The dire team threw. Now that's the freest ages ever. Even the lifestealer joined this party. Vraid King will defend the Midrax. In the meantime, the Rosh should drop. Slow as fuck. Gets the cheese. Let's see the buybacks. Now the buybacks are very important. Tusk has no buyback for the next two and a half minutes. Lich, 1000 gold short. Disruptor has it. Great King has it. Shadowfin doesn't have it. Alright, he can, get, he can get kicked again. He has no idea what he's doing there. He has no idea. Radiance gone and fortified their structures. You should get your tier 4. But I can see why you keep the Ogre Seal Totem. Alright, let's see his player perspective for this final couple of minutes. Everything is gonna be done quickly in the next couple of minutes. Maybe this is the start. Maybe this is how you throw the game. 
if you are dire side. Oh, the lich! The lich just loves casting his ulti on ultimate orb, on a lotus orb. There we go. Two down. The squirrel from hell gets bursted. God damn. Is it gonna be a rampage? They just keep coming, bro. What is this? No. He made a mistake. One of the rare mistakes he made. He reached. He reached too far for his own good. He overreached. Buybacks are coming in. Maybe this is the time for the Radiant. Oh, the buyback just came up. Oh, you also had cheese. Didn't use cheese there. There we go. There we go. Oh, the Invis saved him just for a little bit. Oh, that's... Now I think it's over. Your team can finish the game, yeah. It's over. Toxic fucking noob, this VK. <laughs> I mean, those are some things that we cannot see in the replay. Like the communication between them. But damn. What I... My impressions of this game, of, of this match is... Individual performance of my boy Boyru. The Tusk player. Some beautiful Tusk plays. 27 assists. But he came in with clutch, bro. So many times. I, I really enjoyed it. The game on itself was not that great, I gotta say. I mean, I've seen better games. This was not even a Mega Creeps comeback. But what you manage to do with your task that that was something something very special. Even the graph doesn't say it there was a huge swings. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Oh thanks for the super sticker bro. I'm just about to wrap up this analysis. Um as I said, your, your Raid King with this build, he, he wasn't that great, very, very weak carry, but he did his job in the end. He, he tanked, he got the Aghanim Scepter, but I don't think that would matter at all if you haven't done your, your magic with this uh, Aghanim Scepter and uh, with your rotations and even that play on a neutral creep where you kicked him and then you snowballed onto him to get away from the fight to escape man i think that was the highlight and your buyback when you bought back when you baited them in and then when you blinked with like 100 hp that's what actually saved the game, I think, that moment. Those plays, they definitely create an impact on the enemy. Uh, like, they get mentally destroyed, you know, when, when they see something like that. They're like, man, we failed this push. They did all of this. There is just no hope. And the lifestealer, so many times he was playing like 
bro, I'm just gonna bicky be, rage and tip you out or whatever. Like he completely forgot that you you will always kick him back in into the fountain. They got outplayed. Let's see the ranks actually. Disruptor played really good for his Crusader 3 rank. Lich also played well for his Guardian 1 rank, but maybe it's a Smurf new account. Divine 2 Shadowfiend played accordingly to his rank, and Archon 3 Vraid King Classic. You definitely played uh, much better than Legend 2. But I know how it is, bro. I'm also Legend 2. Sometimes you will get stuck in this MMR. It's so hard to get out. Divine... No, uh, Ancient 5 Windranger also played accordingly to its rank. And then we have a stack of 4. Like... This is definitely something that uh, that made the vibe of the dire team to be not as cohesive as as yours, because he was playing solo most of the time. He was the one carrying them, even though he was uh, offlaner. So the scroll has had no rank. Spirit Breaker Legend Four kind of bad items to be honest the lotus orb was causing a lot of problems but other than that he, he had a couple of good charges but nothing special life stealer no rank and dp no rank so yeah you said that this was unranked match so i understand some players they just don't play ranked at all and um, who knows what would be their rank if they played it But it was a high octane game. I expected more of a comeback, like some mega creeps comeback, some some nasty shit. If you are here, I can show you a couple of my comebacks. <laughs> Let's see just where it is. Uh, 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 downloads. But if I am able to find it, my my fury on games, bro. I just wanna show you how how i solo win sometimes with my furion no match details how is that possible i played a furion game with pl i remember that but i don't know where it is now oh i think it's this one yeah look at this bro look at this how i win sometimes what role do you usually play i play all roles but mostly I'm playing supports faster queue times and I can get the control of the game especially on a hero like Nature's Prophet look at this now I'm just gonna fast forward until the end because this is where the magic uh, happened my player view so look at this I mean, look at this. They only have Ancient exposed. No tier 4s, nothing. Ancient is exposed. And uh, we, we still have an entire base. We are exposed here. I put the Observer Ward. And they have super strong Anti-Mage. Like, this guy is capped out. Level 30. Uh, full slots everything and they're about to take the rush and i know about that i know they will do it and i will feed <laughs> i will feed because of it but what happens next is uh see I react immediately, but look, the Grimstroke is waiting for me here.
Look at this. My team gets completely destroyed, bro. They got they they get sucked into the black hole and now there is no hope. There is no hope. We have no buybacks. They got the ages, they have super strong anti mage. And it's over. We can just only watch how this unfolds. Let's fast forward a little bit. Twenty seconds until I respawn. Just take a deep breath. This is my player perspective, by the way. I watched the minimap as well. That felt so good, I still remember that. You know, from my perspective, it's kind of okay. But my, my PL... My PL was so bad this game. But sometimes... You gotta understand, you cannot defend you cannot defend. You gotta do some other play. Even this, when I casted my ulti, I managed to prevent a couple of TPs. They tried to TP back, but I rooted them. So it was also calculated. Look at look at the PL. Look at the PL. I had no idea. He had no idea how we won that game. He was like, I, I, I gotta defend. I gotta defend. But sometimes you cannot defend. You gotta do something uh, different. Also, if you wanna play, we can party up, bro. If you're down for it. I need a good offlaner. been playing an offline role recently more than usual no I don't want to delete I want to see yeah there we go 10 out of 10 red play yeah it was just one of the many I had like a couple of games like that that I won just by playing Furion so I don't know if my boy Boyru is still in chat, but I'm gonna add you. I'm gonna add you. We are legend two and we can party up if you want to. Uncle Charlie left the guild. Good luck in your next adventures. Okay. Ajmo malo sad da se vratimo na srpski. Znači, eto, bio je interesantan replay i hteo sam da probam malo neki nov content. Nadam se da da se liku sviđalo, brate, ovo. Video je, znači, taj svoj game. Ostaće, naravno, na YouTube-u. Mogu i njegovi prijatelji da vide. Čak je pustio i super sticker koji nije ni trebao da pusti. I sve je ispolo super. E sad, dodao sam ga, ali mislim da nije online. Mogli bi da igramo. 
cijel svet razume srpski, ne znam baš, on je iz Rumunije, tako da ne verujem da oni baš razumeju srpski, ali teo sam i da provežbam malo, vidim da sam zarđao što se tiče engleskog i očekivao sam da bude malo uzbudljiviji meč, ali me je stvarno impresioniralo to što smo videli nekoliko mnogo dobrih plejeva sa taskom. Bukvalno smo čak i naučili nešto novo, bar ja. Dakle, meni nikad ne bi palo na pamet onako u team fight da šutnem neutrala i da se snowballujem na njega da izađem iz fajta. Bukvalno mi ne bi palo na pamet on nikad. Jeste da ne igram taska toliko, to je skoro uopšte, ali čak i da ga igram, to definitivno nije nešto što bi mi palo na pamet. I volim da vidim takve stvari. Taj individualni skill koji definitivno u ovakvim situacijama utiče. Plus i postao onaj buyback i blink out, stvarno je lik doprinao. Is kick shot in your language? It's some in Romanian. Kick in my language is shoot. Yes, shoot. Shoot equals kick. I read it as shot. But actually, actually, yeah, it's shoot. Exactly the same in Romania. I mean, after all, we are all from the Balkans, right? So, some words, they're the same. I added you, bro. When you feel like it, we, we can play, we can party up. We can play now if you want. But if you don't want, I'll just go one solo queue. Let's what I do recently is I, I select all roles. I'm at work. Ah, okay bro. I select all roles and then when I win one role I unselect and I go next. And that's how the stream goes. If I can get five out of five wins, I'm satisfied with that. But sometimes it will take more wins to get through the rolls. You just never know. Yesterday we had a lot of ruined matches back and forth, like a ruined match on my team and then on the next match ruined but for the enemies. So I just stopped playing. It's it became kind of cringe. I don't want to trade wins like that. You know, you're not progressing. Like lose win, lose win. That's the worst streak you can get. I mean, you get more MMR now in this new system. Like at least for me it goes like that. I will lose like 22, I get 26. I lose 24, I get 26. So even though it was two losses and two wins, I gained MMR. <laughs> One MMR. <laughs> yes. No, it was more. That's like I gained 52 and I lost uh, 46, so it's plus 6 MMR. Here we go. Par nije klot kao pre što je bilo uvek plus minus 3 zbred. Samo što, eto, neki mečevi, ja bih rekao da ne vrede ni minus 22, nego bi trebalo da budu minus 2 MMR, ako je ruined. Kao ovo, na primjer. Jeste da smo pobedili, ali ovo je bilo ruined.
there we go. Fair matchmaking. Perfect skill balance. Alright, that's a hard support for me. What a surprise. Well, it's either going to get banned or I get to play Witch Doctor, so let's see. Oh, Flame Braid King. Get banned. My mid laner is a high pinger. 103 ping. But we, we get Zeus, that's good. I like good Zeus players. And the Hoodwink. Of course. Why not? The most broken hero. One of the most broken heroes. And we also has have a, a broken hero. Oh, the Juggernaut. That's a good pick. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, Jug, good. PA and Lina. Not calibrated. Our mid laner has no MMR. Going for the OD probably, huh? Oh, sniper. And then a Visage Spammer, level 26 Visage. Mid. I think this is how it's gonna go. How good are the enemies? Everybody gets set. Let's stack up more, more region. <laughs> it's it's in, in the bag. Yes. This one, my friends, is in the bag. Someone's oh. out like a kid in school. No, 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 thanks. I'm not gonna waste my win prediction godlike streak here. I'm just gonna feed if I go there. If we can get at least one rune, that would be a good thing. Oh my god! <laughs> the TI practice. Well, at least, at least I got, uh, I tanked, I tanked the gank. I sacrificed myself for my mid sniper. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Hmm. 
they have no wards. Okay, the lane will push. If they dive, that's our chance. Smart spin. Ready for your dose? Uh, ready for your dose? Fucking offline hoodwink. I mean, it's a hard lane. They have plenty of stuff to do. No, he has the fairy fire. I wish I, I was able to cast my stun there. This hoodwink is no no joke. And he brought some wards now. Lane. And that's the only way you can do the correct thing.
Got him. Stick a bone in it. You're done. Motherfucker annoying hoodwink. I don't know why he's pinging on me, bro. Like, what the fuck does he want? Your mid tower ain't doing too well. Can I get some XP? I mean, they're just straight up feeding. This won't hurt a bit. Your mid tower's coming apart. Rips already devoured the ward behind the tower. So that's good. Feeder Spirit Breaker. Well, what can you do? Your mid tower is in a bit of a bind. Oh, look at it go, man! Your 
bottom towers in a tight spot. The spell is cast. This won't hurt a bit. It's not over yet. What is this sniper doing, man? Well, me and my Juggernaut, we had a pretty rough lane. I'm not gonna lie. But every other lane was also fucked. Towers coming apart. Radiance toughened up their structures. Your bottom tower. Well, they have done it. Well, 
I mean, we should be able to kill PA. Come on, man, why you don't use your ulti? The other fellas disown their bottom tower. Nice, easy comeback. Double damage. Love it. Look at it go, Crips. I definitely need one more level in this spell.
Feeling good, man. Your top tower's hurting. What's with all the scribbling? Nothing left of the other fellas' mid tower. Oh my oh, no. God! No, not like this. Oh my god, the sentry ward, bro, come on. Let's go! A rampage! Come on. I don't know about this lane. Your top towers get all banged up. So annoying warders, bro.
Just kill witch doctor, huh? Bad we lost sniper at the start of this fight. I mean, how can I play against this PA? He's bursting the shit out of me. Trying to bust down radiant structures now. Okay. This is good. Well, at least Dragonet escaped. That sniper gets caught.
Oh, look at it go! Meanwhile, our sniper is farming. How that cask was so good on PA. Haste. Just keep the words up and we're doing it. No, 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 we don't need to throw, bro. the fuck is pushing that hard? This won't hurt a bit. The other fellas aim to wreck your bottom tower. The other fellas top tower had a little accident. Your mid tower is done for. Fucking sniper, dude.
regeneration. Set your clocks. It's the witching hour. Hey, good guy. Саша Смурф. Why it has to be so fucking difficult?
We've wasted a lot of Bybex. Yes! Holy shit, that was tense. Nothing like a good Witch Doctor game. Ogre of Lenyan and Trinus. Криво му ще изгуби ал еби съж. Поебал съм га с Game of Trusade. Но Spirit Breaker ми зачудил како е одиграл на край. Фидувал цял гейм, али имал изправни отлуки. Which doctor sings a song? Oh, 
Poyru accepted me. Can play, I'm working. Thanks for watching. We will have a chance in the future. Alvi, pobijeli na što be? Duo smrti. Kad im krene, ono im krene, brate. Kad ih ne ide, ne ide im. You have friends on Reddit? <laughs> I have no friends. No friends. All of my friends are missing. Nego koliko dobar meč bio Denver i Minnesota. Gledao sam highlights-ovi malo pre. Kakav game, oduševljen sam. Mislim da će Jokić dobije MVP. Titulu. Samo nije fair, brate, ako dobije... Nije fair zbog toga što su mu prošle godine uzeli. Inače, da sad dobije MVP, bio bi i jedini igrač u istoriji NBA koji je dobio četiri MVP-a za redom. A definitivno je bio MVP prošle sezone. Nego, možete se desiti da daju Luki Dončiću ili onom iz Oklahoma? Mid first pick in Walker. Ten seconds to go. Što misliš? Zašto je radlo što si u Legend sa osam ljudi šesto pobjeda? Because I don't give a fuck, bro. That's why. That's why, brother. Because I don't give a fuck about them anymore. Ten seconds to go. Apparition, yo, I yo. Five seconds. Na što te misliš, VD? Koji je razlog? Ajde, pošto ti verovatno bolje poznaješ mene od mene samog. Ej, kao onaj Dario, sinoć što se pojavio kod doktor Mareta kad sam mu pomagao da kastuje prvi meč. Onako došao, brate, kad bilo najviše vjuvera i onako me popljuvao, brate, znaš, ispovraćao se na mene. Kakav bednik ljigča ljigavi, brate. Još doktor Maren umeda uzme i da ga time outuje, brate, i da ga otera u kurac, nego još opravdava, brate, to što Kapiraš, on za mene piše, brate. Napisao da sam 2K MMR. 
a taj lik je banovan odavde iz chat, verovatno još odavno. I onda nije znao kako da se osveti, nego će napišao tako nešto, vrate, tamo u chat gde ja kastujem. Nego, ajde. Ljige, brate, razne ima. Samo ne kapiram što bi njemu pridao pažnju, brate, kad je lik apsolutno nebitan. Nikad se pre nije pojavio u chat. Znaš, nikad ga nisam video. Čak i ovde što je banovan kod mene, ni ne sećam se za šta je dobio ban, ali verovatno je bio toksik govnjar. Voleo da backseatu je, ili se mnogo pravio pametan. I onda sad vidio šansu, brate, ovamo. Znaš kako da mi naudi. I onda znaš da me ni podoštava, što bi rekao Gaibotron. Pravi onaj četer koji svoje poruke koristi isključivo za ni podoštavanje streamera. Ali šta me briga, brate? To je sve što može, brate, da... da uradi u svom životu. Ja mislim iskreno da bi napredovao mnogo brže kada bi igrao jednu rolu sa 4-5 heroja, a ne sve živo konstantno. Je li to si noć pisao? Si noć. Pa možda pogledaš tamo chat kod Dr. Maretana na stream prvi game kad smo počeli da kastujemo. Odmah se pojavio u chat da pjuje. Ali pazi, banovan odavde. Nema ga, ovde je. I onda, znaš, kako da se osveti, on tamo će pjuje. Nemo, kapiraš, ko je on, brate? Niko ne zna za njega ko je. Možda je neki herald, znaš, niko ni ne zna koliko ima MMR, a piša takve poruke u chat za mene. I onda ovaj ga uzima za ozbiljno, doktor Mare. Kao i pojedini viewer tamo kod njega. Ali ne dotiče me to previše. Nego samo hoću da vam ispričam šta je bilo. Džaber napred ovako nije fan spamovati 4-5 heroja. Pa skoro je bio neki lik što rekao brate, 2500 MMR sam osvojio Sabadona. Znaš? Dvije i po iljede MMR Sabadon osvojao. I sad, jel on ima dvije i po iljede MMR? Mislim da je imao iljede i petsto, on sad ima četiri iljede. I sad imam četiri kej player, ili je četiri kej Abadon spamer. Ili ne znam za kog heroja je rekao. Znaš, nije isto. I plus, možda samo jednu rolu igra. A ovaj moj MMR, to je MMR za skoro sto heroja u svim rolovima. Tako da taj moj MMR nije isti, vrate, kao neko drugi što ima. Ali pojedini brain deadovi to ne može nikad da shvate, vrate, ili su ljubomorni. Zato što samo jednu rolu zna da igra i zna da igra dva heroja, tri, u tu rolu. I on već čito sto igra jedno isto, uvek isti item build, uvek isti heroj, uvek isti lane. I on ima neki MMR kao naš. A bukvalno nume Vorda postavi. Pola, više od pola heroji ne znaju, ne znaju šta rade. Nikad ih nije igrao. Ali ima MMR. Idem double bracer, a? Odavno nisam išao, mogu bi.
Некој не писал дека добио две и пет мера сабудон, да. Просто не могу че да знаеш свој херој ер се мета мене константно, па не знам све. Не сум рекол да знам све. И баш збоку тоа што се мета мене константно, збоку тоа ја менем херој кој играм. На пример со овој херој сам имал дванес винстрик, каде био брокен. Па сам онда престал да го играм година, мага не сум играл. Онда сум сад почнав поново да го играм уофлайн. Jer mi je interesantan. Volim za svaki rol da imam pojednog heroja. I volim podjednako dobro da igram svaki rol, ako mogu, da naučim. A ne da se specializujem za jedan rol da igram fenomenalno, brate, znaš. But that's just my way how I want to enjoy things. Mi imamo invokera. Kako ga nije stanovalo ovo, to bi idealno bilo, to bi bio next level play. Precision guaranteed. Sve osim guaranteed je taj precision. Ne je malo sam strike. Thank you. 
Това е вече опасно съда. Това би неутрал айтем да имам пре вайфайт. Но чисто кастуем да ме не спамаю, защото имам мулти, а не съм кастовал. Енако не съм тел да се борим то. Добре го съм Ворлок. Бате, неутрал айтем не мога да добием 15 минута. Офлейнер.
Adonis. Almost. At this rate, the whole get up practice. Oh, shit. Santo. This one, not bad. <laughs> a nice snack. Ne, apparition ult, brate, ne. Kako mi pjesno. Gledaj ovi koliko izgubili top lane. Nisu pipnuli tower. Što mi je došao da farmuje ovaj deo?
Скида HP, като си подавай лулки от Слардера. Ние GG, брете, али файти за Тауер никад ником да не е от добро. Тега правимо спейс за Медузо. За безкорисно керия. Там около 75-ти минути ще тек да се появи. Jebi ga bez supportovi ti je tako. Onda da istreniram. Čekaj bi Nikolo, ti li si je obe? Zar nisi malo prije imao zvezdicu? A sad ne moš, isteklo. Došli svi memberi, brate. Ajde će napravimo blink. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. Zendaya buildings are tough as nails for now. Ah! <laughs> 
Како ли че победим с Ву Медузу, брат, овако в АФК фарминг? Не знам, що би воно взял Ейджи сода. Узел Ейджи си че иде да фармуе Не съм трябвал да му дам Ейджи с дузна.
Well, I'm doing all I can. Neko udara heroi, neko udara creepovi, brate, pola sat. Bukvalno Aegis će mu istekne. Od farmovanja u džungli. Nije fair. Ovdje ima ward negde. Seram se na takvog carry-a, brate. Najveći level otišao je na fidu, vao, brate.
Uopšte nije trebao Aegis da uzima ovaj. Dobio čak i Shard. Ajde be. Ne pazi, on video Warlocka, brate, nije video mene Invis, što sam bio. Znači ima Ward ovde. Kako će pobedimo kad nemamo carry-a, be, brate? Igra ga ovaj Warlock, ali... To ti je kad nemaš kog da se portuješ. Kakav je to idiot, brate? Pogledaj. Level 0, 1, prijatelji. I on se tako igra i rujenuje. I onda kad ga banuju na taj profil, ono pravi novi i opet isto radi. Jer, vidiš, njemu je zadovoljstvo da to radi. Zabere takvog carry-a i onda uslovljava sa igrače da mora da igraju kako on kaže.
Kakvi slepci, brate, u ovaj top lane džakiro i meduza oba, brate, igrača. Oba debili, brate, teški. Dobio Aegis nam uzeo, brate, kad smo trebali pobedi mu. I otišao i farmovao pet minuta u džunglu AFK. Pa je dobio shard od Tormentora. Pa je toliko space za njega napravljen. I opet ništa. I ovaj Džakiro. Nije mogo da kasnije ulti u moju arenu kad sam uhvatio ovde malo pre četiri heroja, nego sad kastovao za ništa, brate, kastovao ulti. Baš sam teo da idem na Aegis. Kako je bilo, ne želim da pobedim ovo. Samo želim da ovaj dobije low priority, ili tako našto. Njemu dozvoljeno da igra ranked i da piše u chat i sve ostalo. Uzeo da igra Kerija 50 minuta. Jednom s tim išao, brate, jednu asistenciju ima samo za ceo game, od 50 minuta. Kakav 
Petnik. To je to. Thanks for